introducing Sally Knight. Burlington children squealed with delight as the Sculpture Park unveiled 16 pig sculptures, sponsored by local businesses and painted by local artists. Introducing Oinky and Moblet. Sculpture Park Committee Chair Barbara LaRue was the mastermind behind the project. Well, we have been working on this project for about eight months. Um, we first got the idea when we saw the cow parade on Boston Common last summer, and we decided that we should do that here in Burlington. But Burlington doesn't really have a particular affinity with cows. Burlington was a pig farming community back in the day, so we decided to go with pigs. Local businesses and organizations sponsored the pigs, with the money going towards the next generation of art for the Burlington Sculpture Park. Barbara had this idea that we could pay for the next round of sculptures. We pay each sculptor $2,500 for a two-year fee to show their work. And with five sculptures, you know, that's $12,500 some odd dollars. Where's the money come from? And we don't like to go to the town so she said, I know, why don't we have these pigs, like many cows, many cows, many towns have done cows and other things. Because it was a pig town, we'll do the pig sculptures. Woodworking in itself is kind of an art. So we, we like to support different artists and we appreciate um, different forms of art. Um, so that's why we got into it. A fabulously painted pig dubbed Poppy was anonymously donated to the Burlington Council on Aging and painted by members of the Senior Center Art Group. I think it's beautiful. I think we picked the right colors. The reds and the yellows pop from that blue background. And, and, and it's fun seeing all the kids jump on it and <laughs> touch all the flowers. See, they're doing it again. The event was a hands-on experience for Burlington children. I never anticipated that the children would want to touch the pigs. I thought everyone was just going to stand there and we'd unveil them and then we'd move on to the next pig. But the excitement that the children showed and wanting to touch the pigs and interact with the pigs was really wonderful to see. And it tells me that kids love art and they want art and it's good for them and we should have more of it. The statues will be on the common through the end of August. For B News Weekly, I'm Sydney Bowles.